Hey guys, welcome back. Dan Klein's here with Klein's Crafted Woodworking. Today we have, uh, actually have two beautiful walnut slabs. Um, we got one of them out on the CNC already. We're, this video will be about surfacing these and uh, bringing them, bringing the two of them, the one on the CNC and this one, down to the same thickness. These will become legs for the bench that I'm working on behind me here. We've already surfaced one side and got it flat using the same method we'll be using in this video. If you like what you see in our video today, I would really appreciate it if you would give us a like and a subscribe. It would really help our channel grow. So let's get started. Okay, over here at our CNC, which is a Onefinity Woodworker, it has a 32 by 32 inch cut. We have our first walnut slab mounted onto the CNC. We are going to do the one that was already thinnest first, just to see what final thickness we're going to get to before we move on to the thicker one. I have already zeroed it down here in the bottom right hand corner, the X and the Y. And I have zeroed the Z axis to the uh, wasteboard of the CNC. I'll post a uh, a link to that video up at the top and our first pass like I said we zeroed it to the wasteboard so we have our we know that this slab is right around one and three quarter inch or 1.75 inch so we have it slightly above that and we're going to take all this tape and the glue that's left over from surfacing the other side we're gonna go ahead and take it off down to the 1.764 that we're at now We'll eventually take this down to about 1 and 11 sixteenths, maybe 1 and 5 eighths. We'll see how it looks. But whatever we take this one down to is what we're going to take the next one down to. Now we did clamp these over the top. So we're going to have to take care not to hit that. What I'm doing here is just zeroing the, the Y axis just so we don't hit this clamp here. That's where we want it. You want to put your dust boot on before you set your first pass height. And just for reference, we run this at the B speed setting here, the red button on the game console the controller that comes with the one infinity. We run it on the red one. I'll be able to see what the speed is on here and I'll make sure I mention it or include it in the description. Now I will turn the dust collection on, turn the router on, and we'll go ahead and go all the way across one time. All right, guys, as you can see at the, the Z height that we're at right now, we're not taking anything off. So I'm going to go ahead and lower that down to a little below one and three quarter. Now, you may have seen me move in the Y direction on here. The, the controller that you're able to use with the one infinity will allow you to use the same joystick for X and Y direction. But if you hold the L1 button, it will only move in the X direction. And that's what I'm using for moving the router up and down this, or side to side of this slab. To move left to right. So just to get you a closer view here. So the Y direction is uh, the left and right as the machine's mounted on the wall here. We'll actually set our, you can select these right here. Five, that's going to be, since we're in Imperial, that's going to be five inches. Half inch, 0 0.005 of the inch, 0 0.005 of an inch. 
So our bit's a one inch bit. We'll actually move it with the controller as it cuts. And then to shift over for an X pass, we'll do Y plus 0.5. We'll do that two times. Move it over an inch each time, each pass. So now I will lower my Z axis a little more. We're going to go down to 1726. That should start cutting some off. Now you want to be careful on your first pass just because there may be some high spots down there. So you don't want to take the full um, maximum capacity of your router. All right, so we've made it to the, the far side of the first pass. Once you get down there, all you're going to need to do is lower your Z-axis down about 0 0.05 is what I found has worked best. So you can do that uh, right here on the screen just to make sure you're moving exactly that amount. So we're going to go to the 0 0.05. Z minus, that took us to 1.676. And we're trying to get down to about 1.625 or 1 and 5 eighths. So we got our Z direction set again. We'll just uh, start right here and go back the other way. So this piece took about three passes. It don't take no time. Of course, you could you can make a program, just run it down a point zero five each pass. That would be fine. Um, you lose some of the benefits of knowing your thickness if you're doing two pieces that you want the same thickness. Um, it can still be done. It just complicates it. And you have to make a program for the for the length of it and the width of it. There's no problem with doing it that way. There's not a right way and a wrong way. This way works great for me. You are left with these. I normally take a hand plane, knock them down. Don't take but a minute. And yeah, that, that's about it for this video. Um, again, these will be made into bench legs for a eight foot walnut bench I'm building for a client. Uh, there will be a video coming on it, and I will uh, link it at the end of this one once it gets up. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. You can put them in the comment section. I'll also put a link to the bit that I use. If there's anything else, any other requests, please let me know. I'd be happy to share anything. Thank you for watching. Again, we're a small business. You can support us by liking and uh, subscribing to our channel sharing our video to your friends, to your family, anyone that it may interest. We appreciate it. Thank you.